So it's pretty early still in the morning. We are going to be uh, traveling again. So I uh, got my bags here and uh, bringing with me trusty Oppo Find N3 Flip, uh, which means we're going back to China. So this is going to be a really, you know, fun, quick, quirky vlog. Um, we'll check back with you in a bit. <laughs> what the <sighs> this is a wild room so let me show you guys the room that uh oppo uh, booked us for this trip like this is it's freaking amazing so we are currently at the Hotel Kapok Shenzhen, Shenzhen Bay area and the uh, bed really big bed and then that's the bathtub that's where you take your shower uh, you can close the blinds if you want, but uh, since I'm the only one booked here, I don't think I'm going to do that. Toilets are separate. And then, here's the kicker. I have my own walk-in closet. Like, look at that. Look at that! Walk-in closet! Man, it's wild. It's really big as well. So yeah, we're here at Shenzhen already um, for the Oppo Tech Insider event. Uh, I'm with Jam Ancheta, GN of Gadget Filipinas, and PJ of Giz Guide. And we are going to be checking out a lot of innovations from Oppo. Uh, can't wait to actually spend couple of days in their uh, main headquarters and their offices just to like, learn a lot of new stuff see what's going to be coming up in uh, the next few years from the brand pretty exciting pretty exciting to be back as well so thank you Oppo for this opportunity really really nice the room is amazing seriously room is crazy <sighs> Alright, so this is it, day two, but actually our first day, uh, getting into the bus, we're going to be heading out to the OPPO R&D offices, we're going to be checking out a lot of new tech innovations here. So what you're seeing here are mixed reality technologies being tested in this R&D space. We have a virtual OLLI that you can take a picture of as part of their MR or mixed reality simulation. It's like AR or augmented reality except it doesn't consume a lot of computing power. Something that AR still hasn't optimized until now. So with MR you can integrate a virtual icon when you take videos or photos of yourselves. In this example we saw OLLI, but there were other examples as well. So currently po si Jaman Cheta may hinihimas na dalawang malaking telepono. All right, so this is another demo showing a uh, virtual cinema inside uh, an actual space. So um, what 
use cases. This could be it w- could probably be for um, easy presentations. For example, you need to present something on video, and it cuts the editing time as well. So you can just easily showcase whatever it is that you want to showcase, and uh, be on the screen as well to do a presentation, and you're gonna be fine. Look at that! Cool MR technology from Oppo. We also saw their XR or Extended Reality glasses. While the kit is not for public consumption yet, these dev kits are being routed out to partner studios so that they can further refine programs and applications in the given space. On Oppo's end, they will constantly refine the tech as needed, going as far as creating a custom lens apparatus on the machine itself. Meaning, if you're wearing glasses, you can opt not to wear them if you know your exact eyesight measurements. Now that's pretty ingenious. On the network testing area, we saw how Oppo is adamant to ensure that the phones they produce will work well within the telecommunication specifications of each country. They have the ability to test network performance of other partner telcos. So, Gian, anong ano? Anong, um, anong insights mo? Insights ko, uh, maraming ginagawa si Oppo para ma-improve yung mga technologies nila and innovations. And innovations. It's so fun, uh, pinapakita nila sa atin, no? unhinged. Yeah. True. Yeah, yeah. So we saw like a couple of um, sections that we cannot film. Yeah. Uh, but then most of the stuff that we can film, uh, kita talaga how Oppo is really pushing the boundaries of um, like some, uh, some of their security and communication, yeah. and then really testing everything out. So a lot of testing is happening, at least for this section. No, it's like fun section, na yung MR, oh, yes, MR. Yan, eh. Uh, so it's a bit mas high, mas, mas in-depth techie. Yeah. Um, and then what's, what, what phones are really built for? I want to have two backup dancers in the background, right? Jam and Cheta and PJ. What's up? So they're still there because we saw the network. We're still there. 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 Here in China. <laughs> the carrier that we saw a while ago, pretty wild was Globe. So they're testing Globe's network here currently. So they do a lot of testing in this room, the room where it happened. And uh, yeah, they just want to make sure that all the phones are up to spec when it comes to the networks of each country. So a while ago, we saw them testing a lot of phones for China's network specifically. And for this particular hub, it's for a global, for the global market. So we saw AIS and then we saw Globe uh, being tested. Kaling. The next part of the tour was a showcase on their wearables as we visit what we first thought was their gym. Well, I think it can double as that. In the Oppo Health and Wellness Labs, various exercise machines are hooked up to scanners to accurately test an athlete's performance and how the Oppo wearable responds to it. We even saw an Oppo watch that hasn't been released in the Philippines. So we have here the Oppo Watch 4 Pro apparently. Look at that. Nice curved display. The lugs are really thin. Lugs are really thin. Easy link straps also for you to uh, change. I do love this color. I love the chrome mixed with the brown vegan leather. I think this is vegan leather. It doesn't feel like actual leather. Uh, functions, the crowns, of course. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Then no. It's my interface. Na yan. The Oppo Watch 4 Pro is a wonderfully quirky device that has amazing functionalities that includes an ECG as well as a fit buddy companion. Alright, so the last room that we're in is the Oppo Health Room or Health Labs. Uh, we're able to check some of the innovations that they're doing, uh, in particularly in particular with their wearables, which is the Oppo Watch 4 Pro. So, uh, itatanong natin yung mga ano, tech media ng Pilipinas, ano yung favorite uh, innovation that they saw throughout the day? Wait lang. 
Uh, probably uh, the one doon sa Oppo Watch 4 Pro. Hindi kasi lumabas sa Pilipinas eh. It's, it's, uh, it's a consumer product. Mm. Uh, I like the, the, the things that they've done with it. I like the health lab. But pretty much so far, lahat ng nagustuhan nakita ko, ito yung may pinaka-tangible product na gusto ko gusto ko na nakita ko dito. Uh, actually, the AR. Uh, kasi I think uh, that's the next space for computing. So seeing something like uh, the AR space, na dinedevelop ni Oppo right now is something na interesting. Uh, hopefully, they could have a, a device or a something or a feature that can really innovate or jumpstart yung ating AR, uh, especially sa Philippines, which, by the way, is not popular pa ang VR or AR or MR. So, hopefully, uh, we could see more of that, whether that's VR, AR, or MR. Ako so, so far yung diba? network like, laboratory kasi... Uh, it's something na they test really to ensure na yung connectivity ng ating mga devices, I mean OPPO devices in particular, will work well either here in China or for globally. And kanina may nakita pa nga tayo, they're really testing yung local carriers natin. So that's something na nagbibigay sa atin ng peace of mind when it comes to buying OPPO products because we know na it is a high quality device na pinag-isipan, pinag-aralan at talagang inalagaan. Ang <laughs> ganda! Ang ganda! Ang ganda! Ang ganda! Sir. Ang ganda. And that's just day one of the OPPO Tech Insider event. Tomorrow, we're going to be seeing a lot more innovations, uh, factory tours as well. So, can't wait to show you guys that. Kumusta ka na? Kumusta ka na, sir? Okay naman. Ganda ng tulog ko. Yeah. Kasi katabi kita. Ay! Wali! Patay, hindi lalabas sa vlog yan. Joke, joke, joke.